Hi everybody, this is Randy of Randy's Roost and the Buy Any Bag Makers group on Facebook. And today I have a little comparison video for you. So I am going to compare the four bags that I think are sort of in the same family. These are all the Buy Any Bags that have pages inside. So left to right we have Divide and Conquer. That's the large one. It also comes in small. A Place for Everything 2.0. Case in Point and Hold Everything. It's a very good reason the Hold Everything pattern is not there in front of it. That's because I can't find it. <laughs> what I think happened is a customer had a question about it, and I got out the pattern to look at it, and then I didn't put it back where it belongs in my catch-all caddy. So, obviously the first difference here is the size. So, Divide and Conquer, the large one, is it's pretty big. I mean, you can see it's deep, and when you see the inside, it's it really does hold quite a bit even the smaller version of it still holds a lot uh, in terms of difficulty complexity i would say divide and conquer is probably the most challenging and after that believe it or not is that little guy hold everything part of the reason that's a little challenging it's because the pattern is older and it's not as detailed or well organized as the newer patterns so sometimes it's just a little challenging to follow it. There's also no videos for it. There's also no official videos for Case in Point, but I made some sort of low-budget add-on videos, I guess you could call them. Uh, the other two have add-on videos. Okay, so I'm going to give you a closer look at these. We'll take a look at the inside, and I'll just start from the left and go down the line all the way to the right. Okay, so Divide and Conquer does not have a detachable carrying strap but it does have these pretty long adjustable straps that easily go over your shoulder. Uh, it's got a quilted zipper pocket on the outside, on the front, and it's got a quilted zipper pocket on the back. It's a very deep bag, it has a, a lot of space inside. Also included in this pattern, there's a little um, strap pad I didn't include mine in the video because mine didn't come out very nice, to be perfectly honest, and I, I don't want to show it to you. So I'm going to be redoing that. So Divide and Conquer does have zippers that go all the way down so you can open the bag totally flat, which is nice. And then inside, you have a dimensional vinyl pocket inside the front. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but that pocket is huge. You can easily fit a pair of shoes, and my shoes are big, I have big feet. And then you'll still have room to spare in there. And then there's a pocket just like that also inside the back. And then in the middle, you have two sort of pages. In this bag, they are not detachable. These are sewn in permanently. Uh, they are not configured this way in the pattern. That's just something I sort of made up because I wanted to store smaller items in there. Um, in the pattern, these would just be, the zippers would be oriented the other way and there would be one zipper compartment on each side of each page. Okay, so that's the Divide and Conquer. Again, that's the large size. The smaller size of Di Divide and Conquer has all the same features. It's just a little bit smaller. It's more comparable in size to A Place for Everything. Might be slightly bigger than A Place for Everything. It's a little deeper. So they, they both have plenty of room in those dimensional pockets inside to put whatever you need to put in there. Laptop, shoes, a couple changes of clothes. They all easily fit in there. Okay, next up we have A Place for Everything 2.0. This does include instructions for a detachable carrying strap. I just don't have mine out here with me right now. I think my kids ran off with it. So on the front of this bag, you have a zipper quilted pocket on the front. And on the back, you have a divided slip pocket. It's also made out of quilted fabric. Sorry, it's a little tricky to hold the camera and try not to shake it too much and also move the bag around. Okay, so inside a place for everything 2.0, uh, also, this bag opens all the zipper opens all the way, so the bag lays totally flat when it's open. And then inside the front, you have a flat, non-dimensional zipper pocket. In the pattern, it has you make it out of mesh. You can use vinyl if you want. You could use fabric if you want. That's really up to you. Okay. And then you have inside the back of the bag, you have a uh, slip pocket, which again you could alter this. You could divide this pocket you can make it a zipper pocket this bag is really um really great for customization so you can make it exactly how you need it okay and then in the center of the bag you have two removable pages so these are held in place by a page strap 
Uh, I've seen people, instead of using Velcro, I've seen people use snaps there, which is a neat idea. So each of these pages can be configured however you want. There are a few different styles of pockets. Some of them take up an entire side of a page, like that. You can orient it any way you want. You can make it mesh or vinyl, slip pocket, zipper pocket. It's up to you. I think the hardest part of this bag is deciding what kind of pockets you want, really, to be honest. You could make them take up half a page each, or a third, or you can even make even smaller pockets out of these, or these. You can divide them all up any way you want. So you have two pages like that. A lot of people ask, can I make the bag deeper so I can have more pages in there? The answer is yes. The, the short answer is yes, you can do that. Um, but I always ask, how much stuff do you really need to bring with you? Because couldn't you just make an extra page and leave it at home if it has stuff that you're not going to need wherever you're going? So then you don't need to alter the bag. But some people like to bring everything, which is, which is fine. I get it.